Introducing the Nexus 360, D'Addario's first rechargeable omnidirectional tuner. Visible at every turn, from any angle, no matter where you wind up. Nexus 360, built for your next stage. All right, James, before we hear about the pedal board and the amp with the Les Paul, kind of like your, your go-to setting, we have to hear these two other special instruments. I call this the plunker. I don't know if it will stick in terms of a name, but let's hear this harmony because it has such a unique sound. Yeah, we mainly play a neighbor song on this, okay. if you know that one. Uh, and it just brings a whole, uh, a whole other world-liness to it, uh, to the tune. The, the more time I spend next to this instrument, the more things I'm picking up on. The dust on the upper register, the, the way that the side of the, like, the top is almost getting curved, it looks like, in my head, just, just based on, I don't know if it's angle, the lights, but it, it's a well-worn beautiful <laughs> instrument. It's been through it. It's yeah. been through it. It was, uh... It's got a lot of stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, if it had, if you saw this in the corner of a room and it had acoustic strings on it, you'd probably assume that it didn't work no. or was beyond saving. Right. Uh, but uh, as this, it works great. It's all contextual when it comes to these things and that thing does the trick. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we got to hear this D'Angelico first. Oh, okay. With the Tysco. Yes, with the Tysco. James, before we hear this bad boy, uh, is that, that's gotta be one of those old like 50s Tysco pickups. Do you it, know anything about it? It is. Uh, all I know is uh, when I first moved to Los Angeles, Mason Stoops sold it to me. Old and Mason's got the funkiest stuff. Old Mason, so I know that it's certified. I know that it checks out on the deepest of forums. And uh, yeah, it's been a total, it's made this a completely different guitar. Um, I got to do this real quick. I'm sorry, James. Yeah. Mason, everyone, you know, he's a big guy, touring with Jackson Brown, Ma Marcus Mumford. Yeah. Little known fact, internet guys that love Mason because he's a huge, great guitar player. He was an intern for Premier Guitar. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen. He used to post for us on social videos. media. So if you see old Mason, ask him about his days as an intern at PG. Oh, we've briefly talked about that. Yeah. But yeah, Mason's a great guy. I'm so a happy you reminded talent. me. Yeah. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. And everything that comes his way, he's de it's deserved. But yeah, yeah, don't get too high on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, uh, uh, let's hear more about this D'Angelico and what yeah, it has to say. Um, well, I, I have two very different flavors here. I, I play, um, I guess I'll engage our first pedal of the day, which is the color box. Okay. Um, always makes it onto my board somehow. Um, the... Humbucker in the bridge is just I just man I just it just works that stings that's <laughs> yeah, good yeah and uh the uh Tysco I use for a much more like kind of um uh, I don't know if I can get there from here, but uh, much sweeter. Uh, yeah, much sweeter. Uh, uh, I played a lot on it. Uh, when we play uh, better than, okay. I use this one wide open, and uh, yeah, it just has a. It picks up. It's very microphonic and picks up a lot of. A lot of strange stuff, you know. The way uh, I'm hearing it is that this is like a pure breed, kind of like you know, like a kennel certified the bridge. Yeah. And the neck one's like a mutt, like it, you know, it's, it's yeah. rough around the edges, but man, it's got character. The neck is super rude, and <laughs> it's it's good cop bad cop. That's <laughs> that's essentially what it is.